Well, hello there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for August 2020. Thank you so very much to tu for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. I am so very, very glad to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? Sorry, right. Spirit Monthly, Virgo. And I'm going to be honest with you. I just finished your love reading, and that was some bullshit, man. Okay, and, and, and... Mm. I'm not even going to go into it. If you're if you're a Patreon or you'll uh, a, a top tier Patreon or you'll see it. Um, and if you if you're new to me and you don't know, I have a Patreon account, patreoncom conversations. Two tiers. Uh, first tier is five dollars a month. You get Spirit Monthly Messages Part Two. S second tier is seven dollars a month. You get everything that I do. Okay. And the second tier is where the love readings are. are, are the top tier, the seven dollars a month. That's where the love readings are. And y'all, that was some fucking shit. Okay. But now, I, and so when I got into you, when I started doing your spirit monthly, I was like, oh shit, here we go. What we got, what do we got going on for Virgo now? Cause that was a toxic mess. What is this? What's this going to be? And none, and many of y'all shouldn't be surprised because let me tell you, Virgo's been going through some boo shit for the longest time, right? Mm. Well, I've got your pre-shuffle here now and I'm not going to front. I'm not even going to front for a lot of you. We're talking twin flame bullshit. Yup. All right. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Cups. And what I'm hearing with this Page of Cups for you, Virgo, is new emotional reality. Yup. Makes a lot of, yup. Makes a lot of sense. Yup. Makes a lot of sense. Yup. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, so I recently started getting into this um, pr habit, I guess Spirit just called it, of pulling cards from the bottom of the deck that are relevant to the situation. And sometimes, man, it just keeps going and going and going and going. But what you have here right now, Virgo, is this Page of Cups. It started with the Page of Cups, and this Spirit is saying new emotional reality. Underneath is the Queen of Swords, okay? So you're cutting something free. Underneath that is the hermit, you, okay? But you're learning about yourself. Queen of Pentacles, learning about your self-worth. Knight of, I'm sorry, Page of Wands, re-identifying yourself and having the strength to cut karmic ties. Now, many of you are doing that, sure. I wanna chat with those of you that aren't doing that. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Five of Wands, Knight of Cups in Reverse, and the Fool. And the Fool. And the Knight of Cups is this Twin Flame. I'm not even gonna lie. If you find yourself on the feminine side, then this would be your Divine Masculine. And he, and the divine, I'm going to say he because we're talking masculine and feminine, but we're not talking gender here in any way. I, this is a gender neutral channel, okay? We're just talking about energies. Um, but he, as in the divine masculine, could be very emotionally manipulative, could be very um, emotionally selfish, fairly narcissistic, anything like that could just be in some sort of situation for his own emotional gain and not really concerned with anybody else. But I feel like, Virgo, if this is your divine masculine, it's not just you he's doing this with. He does it with everybody. So don't think you're anything special there, okay? And now if you're on the divine masculine side, this would be your divine feminine. And I just feel like both of you at this point are, are this toxic... Uh, emotionally codependent or just in it for your own situations type of energy but wait hold on hold on because even if you're the feminine here and you're working on things the, the the message that i'm getting for you guys and this came out in the love reading too the message that i get for you guys is you are seeking out a new opportunity but you're seeking an opportunity with this same situation because for some reason, you don't want to let this go. Five of Wands. And actually, it's the ego. That's, it's an ego battle here. Some of you don't really want to take this leap of faith, the fool, and admit defeat. You haven't been defeated. You've learned some really strong lessons, but honey, you haven't been defeated. 
part of the message that came through in your love reading was that you are expecting someone else to live a certain way, to take a certain action, to show up a certain way, to do a certain blah, 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 just so you can be happy. Oh, hell no. Nah. You're funny. Queen of Swords. The Hermit. Queen of Pentacles. It is time for you to say enough is enough. I'm not arguing about it anymore. I'm not talking to you about it anymore. I'm not discussing you about it with, with, with discussing this with you about it anymore. And I'm damn sure not doing this with you anymore. And it's time for you to go within, Virgo. It's time for you, for you to start healing yourself. It's time for you to start finding yourself worth and stop leaving that responsibility off on others 555 five, five on the counter knight of cups in reverse this is how you're being emotionally narcissistic virgo because you're 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 leaving your happiness in the hands of others fuck out of here with that no and look, uh, I'm just, uh, I guess I'm going to warn you now, <laughs> even though we're six minutes into this reading and shit's already gotten real, but this is probably going to be a real cutthroat reading. Because let me tell you, that love reading, man, I wasn't fucking with that. And neither should you. And we've already got mirroring messages, and I've, I've noticed that that happens. Because I, I've started doing the love readings first for the Patreoners, and then I get into the general energies for the, the channel. I might need to smoke a cigarette, y'all, because... But look, the Seven of Pentacles just fell out. And the Seven of Pentacles was coming through in your love reading. Seven of Pentacles is that energy of toxic energy, of doing something over and over and over again, expecting the, the, the same way, but expecting a different result. Just saying. All right, Virgo. Yeah, look, Hermit's still at the bottom of the deck, baby. Uh-huh, okay. Let's do this then. Sorry. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our month of August 2020. All right. Five shuffles. Um, I do want to say that oh, unconditional love is present and, and surrounding you. One. You, oh, Virgo. Come on now. One. You have got to let this energy in. This unconditionally loving energy come in to help you heal. You are worthy of receiving it. You haven't really done anything all that wrong, too. Even though this reading is probably going to be a little harsh. Because I'm not playing with nobody. And I can't stand it when people are up in here talking about why, what was me, why this, that, and the third, and they won't even look face themselves. I have not, I have got no time and no patience for any of that shit. So let me just, let me warn you right now, Virgo. If you're one of those people that just wants to be a martyr and just wants to sit up here and say, oh, woe is me, why is my life so hard? But you won't look at your own self, the hermit, you won't do any sort of soul searching, and you're just going to constantly sit here and blame other people for, for your shit. And then come up on here on YouTube and try and find readers that watch a body and they mother. Trying to find somebody to corroborate. Bitch, get the fuck out now. Because I don't have any time or any patience for that shit. This is not the place for you. Three. Mm -mm -mm. Four. 
Y'all, I might smoke a cigarette on camera right now. Five. And it's not like I haven't done that before. So hold on a second, Eric. Y'all see me doing it happy hour. So what the fuck? All right, Virgo. No shit. Okay. You were starting you off with the King of Swords. And what the King of Swords is screaming at me right now is y'all have got to work to see this situation for what it truly is, not for what you want to make it out to be. Underneath the King of Swords, is the moon. Underneath the moon, you have the seven of wands. And underneath the seven of wands, you've got the empress, babe. The empress. The universe is fucking, fucking A, Virgo. The universe is, is showering you with unconditional love constantly. And you keep choosing to stay connected to these karmic partners that do nothing but drain your energy and beat you down. And then lie to yourself about it saying, I don't know why I constantly find myself here. Oh, I sure hope this isn't a spliff. <laughs> Damn, y'all. First set of surrounding it. Um, look, look, look. First of all, before I go any further, if you're new to me, sorry about it. But also, I'm not sorry. Because this is who I am. And what you, what, if you are, like, if this is the first time you're watching any one of my readings and you're a Virgo, gosh, first of all, yikes, okay. But also, um, I just moved from New York to Puerto Rico. And ever since I got to Puerto Rico, man, I have been nothing but fire and nothing but my own damn self. So if you don't like the fact that I'm coming at you real strong right now, I'm keeping it extra 100% real with you. And if you don't like the fact that I'm smoking a cigarette right now, you should probably be on your merry little way. And I mean that respectfully. Because I'm, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but also I'm not trying to be something I'm not. Yeah? Let's get into this. First set of surrounding energies, Virgo, for the first half of your reading. Page of Pentacles. This is you. I see the pages as um, uh, uh, the mutable signs. The pages and the knights are the mutable signs. And so this would be you. But Virgo, this is also you because you do have a new opportunity. Woo! In some cases, staring you right in the face. But you are not allowing yourself to see it because you are too wrapped up in illusion. I roll my own cigarettes because I smoke organic tobacco. Page of Pentacles is coupled with the hanged man. Your new reality is hinging on you changing your perspective, Virgo. Second set of surrounding energies. Good. You have a choice to make, two of wands. You can either stay this way, you can either stay going about your business, doing everything the same old way, expecting things to change, or you can choose a different way. Two of wands is coupled with the page of wands. Send that message. Make that declaration. Make that statement. Change yourself. Re-identify yourself. Don't go around changing other people. You change from within. And then your vibration, as your vibration changes, energies that no longer resonate with that vibration, those being people, places, things, circumstances, jobs, relationships, all of that will fall away if it's no longer in alignment with your energy. You have to make this decision for yourself and you have to follow through with it. <clears throat> your challenge. Okay. <laughs> your challenge is a new emotional reality, the Page of Cups. Setting yourself free is what I'm hearing. 
Page of Cups is coupled with. Oh God, the lovers. Yeah, we really are dealing with some toxic twin flame bullshit, aren't we? Virgo, you've got to make the choice for yourself. And you've got to make the choice that aligns you with receiving what is your highest good, what uh, experiencing or going towards what will serve your highest good. I, I see the lovers as a choice between vice or virtue. You can continue to choose vice all you want, but all you're going to get is vice. Choosing virtue, and Virgo is a virtuous sign, isn't it? Mm. But choosing virtue will bring you more virtue, and virtue is represented by what is in your heart. What are you truly guided to do? When you sit back, Virgo, and you cut away all the bullshit, you close all the doors, you close all the windows, you turn your phone off or, or, or put it on airplane mode or some shit, you disconnect from the grid, and you disconnect from everybody else that's got they, 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 they nose all up in your shit. And they got their opinions all up in your shit. When you cut all of that out, what does your heart say? Choose that, Virgo. Closing message or potential outcome here. Shit. The Ten of Wands. You are carrying burdens that are, that are no longer yours to carry and or never were yours to carry to begin with. Even if this is a twin flame situation. Some of y'all are actively still in approaching your twin flame situation from the point of view. And this is, this, is, this, this is a mass or a collective understanding of what the twin flame energy is. And, and, and it, but it's not this, okay? But you are entering the twin flame situation saying, I am the divine feminine here. I need to lift the divine masculine up. I need to build the divine masculine up. I need to keep sending him energy so that he can heal. No. Your divine masculine's toxic shit is just that. Your divine masculine's toxic shit. You don't have to handle nothing for him. He's got to handle it on his own. Period. And if that means letting him handle that on his own means you cut yourself out and you end up in a situation where you may never see him again or her, but whatever, then so be it. Because you made the choice to better yourself. You made the choice that was aligned with your highest good. And no, your highest good does not involve you fucking around with toxic karmic energies. Ten of Wands is coupled with the Three of Cups. Hmm. I'm getting two things from this Three of Cups. The first I'm getting is that when you release the burdens from the Ten of Wands, there will be celebration. There will be cause to celebrate. The universe will be celebrating with you because you have released the toxic energy. But also, the Three of Cups is giving me hive mind energy. It's giving me toxic soulmate vibes. A group of people or an understanding that a group of people hold that no longer resonates with you. That's fine, yo. And this could very well be your family. Could very well be your family. But check it out. If they hold on, if they're holding some toxic shit, some beliefs that ye really do not vibe with you, then you don't have to engage. Uh, uh, no, 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 but no, no, but nothing. I don't care if they're your family. You don't have to engage. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and we're going to go into part two. And if you are new to me and you are brave enough to go over to Patreon and get that at minimum $5 a month subscription and to dive into the second half of this reading, then I commend you because you are one brave motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay. So I'm going to leave it there. And so if, you, if I don't see you over on Patreon, I appreciate you being here nonetheless. And I thank you so much. I love you so much. And I, I hope you all have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for Virgo season, tropically speaking, for the month of September. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>